Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. We got dad here this morning. Everyone's wanting to know how old dad's been. How oh, you I've been, been dad? I'm good. <laughs> dad says it's too hot in his shop to work on that SR71. <laughs> so I've been working on a Model A for a friend of ours. Yeah. He got his house painted this spring. Yeah. His house painted, wanted to get that done before it got hot. And he's been helping Pat work on his Model A. Now he's here to show you guys how to make a plug. Alright, we want to go over a couple things on how Dad goes about making a plug without a big old expensive CNC machine. A lot of people just ain't got access to them things. So we're going to go over with you how to do it. So you got to pay attention. Okay, start out and get your model, right? Get your plastic model, it don't really matter how big it is, you know, the bigger is probably the better, you know, and because uh, it shows more detail and a little easier to measure and stuff, okay? Then uh, you decide how big you want your model, right? Okay, don't matter if you want it 6 foot, 12 foot, don't matter, okay? You just, you, you decide how big you want it, okay? Then you decide how far you want your bulkheads apart, okay? On a great big plug, four inches is probably good, six inches. We're just going to, for demonstration purposes today, we want six inches. Yeah, we're going to go six inches, okay? Say we want our plug, our bulkheads, six inches apart. Model is 18 foot. Yeah, on a model that's 18 foot long, just the bomber. We decided we wanted that thing 18 foot long. Okay, Dad, so what's the first thing you do? Well, you go two times this, which is 36. That, uh, that way you've got uh, your bulkheads at 6 inches. Right, yeah, we, got our, we want our bulkheads at 6 inches apart. So you double this number. Why well, do you the double length. that number? Huh? Why well, do you double that number? Because uh, if you just used 18 foot, then you'd have them a foot apart. So you double them, which is half, which makes half of one foot, which will be six inches. Then our model's going to be 36 inches. No, no. 36, six inch equals. 36 times 6 inches equals 18 foot. Thirty. Oh, because you want 36 bulkheads? Right. Okay, we want 36 bulkheads. 18. And make them 6 inches apart. Right, so we take... Uh, right, okay. So we want our six bulkheads 6 inches apart. Oh, so we doubled that number and that came up with 36 bulkheads. Right. Okay, I'm understanding. I thought you meant 36 feet. No. <laughs> That's no, a no. big old model, man. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, so we want 30. So we're going to have 36 bulkheads in our plane. Right. That's what he meant. Okay. So that's our number. We want 36. Okay, now what? Now you measure the length of your model, which this one come up to 36 inches for cheating three quarters. Yeah, that's so kind of we're using while we're using this, but this number. This come up to uh, 36 inches. So, what that means, you divide 36 into the 36 and it come out to be one inch apart. These, uh, each one of your bulkheads will be one inch apart. Yeah, on, on this right here. Okay, so what we do there is we come and mark on the plane every one inch. So one inch on our model translates to six inches on the plane. Right. Right. Okay, so we make a mark every inch on our plane. Okay, every inch all the way down. 
there's going to be 36 marks. 36 bulkheads. Okay. Like I said, we used the 6 inch equivalent just to kind of make this easy to explain. Actually, they should be more like 4 inches apart. Right. So you can sheet it, you know, without big gap. You know, the number would change. That's how we came up with that 6.027. Right. Because we took 18 foot and divided it into 36. And that comes 6.027. That's how we came up with our number, right? Right. We took, we took the number of this model, the length of this model, and divided it into 18 foot. That's how we came up with that 6.027. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's, that's the number all the way through this project. Anything you measure off of this, you have to times it times 6.027. And uh, we got, I, I use this uh, uh, decimal equivalence of fraction of an inch. Okay, I gotta use this cheat sheet. Dad knows most of this stuff in his head. You know, but uh, I use this cheat sheet. You know, anytime you, you time something, uh, you, it gives you the inch and then the fraction, and then, you know, say it's 0.25, well, that's a quarter inch. You know, and if it's, you know, sometimes, it, a lot of times it'll come, it won't come out to these exact numbers. You know, so you go to the closest number. When, I, when I'm doing this, I go to the closest eighth inch. You know, these 30, you know, on, on these bulkheads and stuff, you know, 64th of an inch on a big old plane don't, don't make that big a difference. Mm. You know. To me it does. To dad it does, but I go to the closest eighth inch, you know, on a lot of this stuff, you know, maybe sixteenth, stuff like that, but sixty-fourths and hundredths, you know. On something like, you know, this small, it would make a big difference, but once it's, you know, the size of that B1, it's, you know, within the pencil width, <laughs> you know, it's good for me. <laughs> okay, now show them how you come up with your bowl kits, Dad. Okay, number one, what you do is measure the width where your bulkheads go. And that comes out to uh, two and uh, two and four and four hundred and ninety five thousandths. Okay, four hundred and ninety five thousandths. Okay, four hundred and ninety five. The closest we can get to that would be just straight five, half inch. So four, four and a half. Four and a half inches wide at that bulkhead point. And then you, uh, you have a center line and you measure out uh, half that distance from your center line at each point. That gives you this curve. Right, right. And then you do the very same thing right here at the top. Which comes at two, uh, two and five ten. Which would be two and a half. Yeah, say so say two and five ten. So you take your two and you write it down, and then five ten. Which there's five, there's five fifteen. So it's going to. I would just come to the half inch. Right. So then. So that's kind of in the middle. You see, take your model. five five fifteen. You know, instead of going thirty three sixty fourths. I did a half inch. <laughs> okay. You take your model on the side and you find a center line from here to here. Okay, hold it up so they can see. Okay, you, you find your center line from here.